Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's your daily afternoon news brief with the headlines that you need to know. A former licensed funeral director and embalmer at Warren F. Toller Funeral Home in Irvine was arrested after he allegedly took and used sexual photos of multiple victims Victims and publish them for profit online. Brandon Gabbard is now facing 75 counts of distribution of sexually explicit images without consent and 12 of video voyeurism. According to the citation from December 1st through January 23rd, Gabbard intentionally distributed pornographic material without consent to porn websites from the victims. One of the victims said that some of the pictures and video were taken by herself, but that she never authorized any distribution. Another one of the victims provided police with direct messages from Gabbard as she had seen her pictures on the same website and username of the other victim. The citation continues that after a search of his residence, Gabbard allegedly admitted to posting the erotic material and stated that he used his phone to capture images of one of the victims without their knowledge. Gabbard also allegedly told police that he would gain points on the website by posting and wanted to gain viewership and make him popular on the website. The citation is that Gabbard was already in civil litigation for charges against one of the aforementioned victims and his criminal charges pending from beforehand. He was lodged in Three Forks Regional Detention Center, but has since been released on bond. Employees are now left winging it after a surprising piece of paper was left on the front door of the establishment Wings Etc. in Berea. According to employees, the sign read, quote, Wings Etc. is no longer open and was the only notification the employees received of their workplace closing down. With this shocking news sneaking up on the employees as well as the customers, WBYNTV's Jamie Boggs decided to catch up with some of the former employees of Wings Etc. and got the perspective of the former manager, Sarah Azeel, and a former server, Savannah Reeves, to learn what the future holds for these recently laid off employees. You can watch the full story with interviews up now on WBONTV.com. Grants totaling nearly $1 million are now helping 21 counties across Kentucky pick up messes at local dumps. In our area, McGuffin County was awarded over $225,000 for the 2020 Illegal Dump Grant Program. Officials say part of the reason these are such eyesores is that people throw out their garbage instead of properly disposing of it at a local waste site. Some of these messes, which were obviously dumped by citizens, include tree branches, tires, shrubbery, and boxes. These grants will now work to help get these areas cleaned up. And at Tuesday night's Berea City Council meeting, there was read a proposed ordinance that amended the city's 2019-2020 fiscal year budget, which took off more than $184,000 for the expenditures line item. Most of these decreases in line items were found in administration, with part-time and temporary positions. However, increases were noted in personnel, which takes up over 50% of the city's total revenue. Berea City officials reported that they trimmed what they could in order to save the city and taxpayers money. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.